as we made a sharp turn coming off of I-26, it sailed my motorcycle to where the crash bar scraped the concrete of that bridge, jerking the front handlebars into the concrete and rolling full throttle, and that 1,500cc bike stood up, did a wheelie, and I saw my motorcycle in front of me in midair, and I realized I was airborne and going over the bridge back down into traffic on I-26. But God. Amen. Amen. But God. Amen. Everybody behind me just knew I was dead. They knew I was going. They saw it happening. They realized I was airborne. I was going over that bridge. But you know what happened? God threw me off. I had in my mind, I knew, kill switch, kill switch. Kill. I didn't have time. I was airborne. It killed itself. God took my hand off that throttle and just jammed it to wide open. All of a sudden, it spring released, and there was no throttle, and that bike just settled straight back down. Had a couple of scratches, but let me tell you, I had more than a few scratches inside. Outside, I didn't have a single scratch except for my knee. But it tore my side up. Eight ribs were broken in multiple places. My left clavicle broken in four places. I was in mobile for months, and in the course of that, developed a major blood clot that went from my vena cava to the toes of my feet. My entire right leg was occluded. A major blood clot that is, generally speaking, not survivable, but God. We serve a merciful God. He's got a reason for us. He kept me here for a reason. If you don't know Him, I want you to know Him. If you need to get right with Him, I want you to get right with Him because that is how we can change America today. That is the only way we've got to get back to God. Oh, how we need a great move of God across this land. It's happened before. The first great move of God was in 1743. George Whitfield and others. And it spread across this land and happened again. Actually, there's been, I wouldn't say moves of God, but there's been some mighty revivals here in western North Carolina. The great turkey pen revival in 19, what was it, 60, 61? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people saved. We saw it down in uh, Pickens. Brother Rudy Smith, Mount Sinai Baptist Church, a revival that went for nine weeks down there. 111 people saved. Moved right on up the road there to Rosman and hundreds of people saved. It can still happen. You know how it will happen though? If we get our hearts right, if we repent, if we turn back to the holy and righteous God that created us, there is no other hope. Please, I beg you today, if you don't know Him, get saved. Get a relationship with God and get right with God. And seek God's will in your life and forsake the wicked ways of this world. Turn to God. Get right with God. Let's pray. Father, we just thank you, Lord God, again for this privilege of being here. I thank you, Father, for the call to bring forth your word. Lord, I pray that these words will not return void, Lord God, that hearts might have been touched, Lord. We don't have a large crowd of people. People uh, uh, feel offended and walk away, but Lord, uh, your word has been sent out today. We've planted many seeds, and I thank you, Father. I thank you for my dear friends, Lord God, that have been here today. I thank you for their support. I thank you for the many prayers, O oh God. And Father, I thank you in advance for your mercy and long suffering. God, please help us send a great revival across this land. Yes. Oh God, save hearts. I pray for our president. I pray for all of our politicians, God. I pray most of all they be saved and come to know the Lord Jesus Christ and change, become a different person that understands who you are, Lord God, and serves you with all their heart. Lord, bless us today. Be with my friends as they travel back to their homes and loved ones and give them a blessed name. I pray and ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my friends.